for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll take a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the sun card and it's also with King of Swords. Now with the Sun card, things are likely or were likely to be going really well. Even though your finances, they were in good shape, or they should have been, or they, they probably were. It doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you. And for some of you, it is. It's also a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a job, it signifies that it's right around the corner. Now, it's, like I said, it's with the King of Swords, which often stands for a very powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card does not represent an actual person in your life. So you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. But don't overextend your reach. So basically, Libra, recent past energy, the Sun card, clarified by this King of Swords, so, what I'm picking up is that uh, you were in a you, you were in a relationship, or well, you, maybe you still are. We have to take a look at the rest of the reading. The relationship was good, um, or you thought it was. The sun card is about bright and happy, adding sunshine to someone's life. So at one point, put it that way, it was it was a very happy relationship. You added sunshine to this person's life. And maybe they added sunshine to your life. And I say maybe because the King of Swords can be a really challenging energy. So for most of you, you added sunshine to this person's life, and you probably did not even know it. You pro and you, you probably still do add sunshine to this person's life. But you wouldn't know it because this, this King of Swords is the type that uses his head over his heart. This person could have been very forceful towards you. They overstepped their bounds. They're stereotypically manly. Sometimes you might have felt like you needed to protect yourself. Very, very forceful energy. Um, it's usually all about them. It's all about their needs and wants. So this is this King of Swords is known as the narcissist. So you might have been dealing with someone who's very narcissist, narcissistic. But you made this person really happy. And I'm getting for a lot of you you didn't even know it so let's move on over and let's see what's coming up for the two of you now that the four of swords ends with the five of wands the four of swords can signify a need for a break could be from normal life a person or a situation this could mean that you or someone in your life could withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not permanent, though. It's not permanent. It's temporary. It is a sign to give people their space. You could be in need of some time 
in space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it just might be asking, you, you might be asking for trouble. That's a four of swords. That's the card above the word present. Yeah, it's, it's a, I think it's a cute card. I don't know if you can see the details of the picture. But this man, it looks like he, he went up to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords and a candle. So he lit the candle in his sh and put the candle in his shoe below his foot. And uh, he's protecting himself with his dogs and his sword. So if anyone comes to just disrupt his peace, he'll use those swords as if he has to. So this person, this person needs rest. They need rest after some type of struggle. Yeah, so it's with the five of wands. Five of wands can be about conflict. It does refer to competition. It can refer to um, work or career. It could be in that area. But since this is a love reading, it's referring to competition, romantic rivals, competition, that type of competition. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and can be successful, but you're going to have to try just to see results. So the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful if you decide to do so. So basically what's coming up for November, just know that the time is fluid. It could be going on around now. It could go into end of November, December. But for most of you, it's around now, coming up in November. Four of Swords clarified by this Five of Wands. Well, it looks like you, most of you, you're still dealing with this very controlling person this king of swords and this person they bring competition to the connection there there is romantic rivals I don't know if you can see the details of the five of wands it's a card that's below the word present there's five men there and only four of them are battling each other who are about to beat each other with their sticks or their wands. Only four of them. Now, if you can see, there's this one man. He's off to the left side of where you're looking. He's just standing there. And he's got a big, silly grin on his face. Like, he, he really likes the attention that he gets from the, all these people fighting over him. So that's your person. They enjoy getting a rise out of you. They see that um, it's exhausting to you. It bothers you when they make you f struggle for dominance in the connection. So they keep a lot of unwanted, unwanted, unwantables, unwanted. They keep a lot of uh, extracurricular activities. They keep a lot of other people in the mix, other men, other women. Yeah, so they bring romantic rivals to the connection. But they enjoy the way it makes you feel. Yeah, this man is smiling. It's a silly smirk on his face. Just watching these people fight over him. So, yeah, they keep competition in the mix. They like that it bothers you. And it's showing that it bothers you. You, 
you need rest after after such a battle of the wands or fighting off all these other people that they that your person likes to get involved with so you need rest after this struggle yeah after like I said these four people look like they're about to beat each other up so I don't know if that's something that you you have to do often with these other people that your person likes to invite into the connection. Could be other women, could be other men, but they, your person, it's, they like that they get a rise out of you. It makes them feel, um, what's that word? Oh, okay. <laughs> It, um, their e it boosts their ego, yeah. They, your person probably has a lot of some insecurities, and this is their way of boosting their ego, and they do it through you. And it's sad because a lot of times you have to, you feel like you need to withdraw from this person, from the connection, because <clears throat> it's too much, so... <clears throat> Let's move on over and let's take a look and see what we got for the challenge. Well, we got the Tower and the Knight of Wands. Now, the Tower, it's actually, it could be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you have counted on are no longer there for you in quite the same way as they once were. Now, this change, it doesn't have to be drastic. Because change is actually the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be. And I say this because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, it's with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is showing it's a great time for travel if you can get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing, which, help, which will help reach towards any goals. The Knight of Wands is often a message bearer. They come with messages, and the messages, they could be positive, maybe related to work or career, family or romance, and any projects that you have, they're, they should be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you have a lot of reasons to feel pride as the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so the Knight of Wands is actually, it's a very fearless, brave type of person. This person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident. Yeah, really confident. They this this Knight of Wands, they have a in and out type of energy. Well, um, the Knight of Wands is known as it it can be known as a player, very charming type. So, for some of you leavers. This is what you're dealing with. Also, same person I'm getting for most of you. Uh, yeah, you got your hands full. It looks like you got your hands full, Libra. Or you've, you've had your hands full for a while. Yeah, because your person, like I said, they're narcissistic. They're controlling. Everything is all about them. They bring romantic rivals. They bring other people into the mix. They love to see you struggle for dominance and fight over them. It, it, it strokes their ego. And then it, it's showing that they're, your person could be a player. They're in and out. They don't really stick around that much. Um, yeah, they could, they could be dealing with other other people and as we can see with this 
five of wands, they probably probably are the player. They're the player type. So it looks like um, the challenge is that it looks like maybe you've had enough. Yeah, you take a break. You get your thoughts together. You get some rest. And something happens, whereas it just comes crashing down. Yeah, the connection, it falls apart. Yeah, there's a tower moment here. You're dealing with someone who's really, really challenging. So, you're, you're enlightened by this disaster. Yeah, with a tower moment, you usually learn a lesson. You're awakened, you're no longer um, not seeing things clearly. Your eyes are wide open from this tower moment. So, tower moments can be a good thing. So, it does not stand, it does not, the connection does not stand the test of time. It looks like it challenges at it. It comes crashing down. Yeah, maybe you've had enough of your person being in and out. And... With all the other drama your person brings. So something happened. You, you two could have had a big fight. And it just. It, it just crumbled. The connection feels like it crumbled. And it's showing it did crumble. Or it's about to crumble. It's about to fall apart. So. That's a challenge. Let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up for. The outcome, well, we got the Three of Wands, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. Well, now, the Three of Wands, you could find that your... You could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, it can start to feel that... It can start to feel that your ship has finally come in. And... You could start to feel really strong with a good reason. You could finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way, even if you don't work outside the home. It means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. Now, it's with the, it's with the Will of Fortune. Which is beautiful. Yeah, this is what you need. Yeah, yeah, you... This is really good to see for you. Okay, so... The Wheel of Fortune... It's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times... Or bad times. Just know it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world... You do want to keep your perspective because as that too, like everything else changes, you have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. So basically, leave with the outcome three of wands clarified by this will of fortune. Yeah, this is pretty good. So, you did have a tower moment, or you got one coming up with this person. But it looks like it's okay. Because fortune is in your favor. Yeah, all this, all this stuff your person put you, put you through, the will has turned in your favor. Yeah, fortune is in your favor. It, you're at a turning point after this tower moment. And it's a good luck, good fortune turning point. So the will was in the in the other direction when you were with this person, but now it's turning. So it's a good time for you actually. Fortune is in your favor. Yeah, a lot of great things can happen for you. And, and you're probably starting to feel it with this Three of Wands showing up here for your reading. Uh, the Three of Wands, it means you're going forward. You've made a decision. 
You're looking ahead. You're not looking back. You're ex you're all about expansion and growth. So this is good. You're going forward, and you you could start to feel like a lot of things are in your a lot of things are in your favor. Yeah. So that's good. You're not looking back. You're looking ahead, and and you feel like it's a time when your ship has finally arrived. So, yeah, for most of you, you're not going to stay stuck. Stuck in this person's negative energy. You won't stay stuck in, in these, you won't stay stuck in these bad memories with this person. Something happens. Something great really happens. The wheel has turned in your favor. After this tower. Yeah, so, you're no longer walking in the dark. The tower moment causes you to see everything clearly, and it's causing you to move forward. You're, you're looking ahead. There's growth and expansion. So, yeah, I like the outcome for you, Libra. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, just a little side note. If you're someone who's not involved in a love relationship, then this could be a family member or a friend or a situation. So you kind of have to take the readings for however it resonate because these are, they're just general readings. They're not personal readings. So, so Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. It's been very helpful for my channel to grow. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I hope that you have a great day. Uh, I hope that you come back and check out the next reading. So, I'll see you soon. Take care. See you soon. Take care. See you soon. Take care.